Miss Thomason, I think you've got some explaining to do. Um, did you not understand the math assignment? Oh, it's not about that. This is about something important. Oh, read the comments on that video I made, and people said I could have made a three minute video, but you said I only had one minute. Well, about that. Yeah, about that. But you know, I usually only do one minute videos too, so maybe I can make another video sometime? Maybe, we'll see about that. That means yes, that's what my parents always say when they really mean yes. Did you read anything else? They kept asking when they were gonna see the real Sarah. I don't know why they kept saying that. Well, that's strange. They also said that I ate a Kit Kat the wrong way. They did? Well, how did you eat it? If you have another one, I'll show you. <laughs> okay. I can't imagine how anyone would eat it wrong. I just go like this. Oh yeah, no, that is, that is wrong. How do you eat it? You have to break it apart. No, that's weird. I'm pretty sure you and all of the internet are wrong. Hi, Miss Thomason. Hi, Sarah. Did you get another Case to Five phone case? Yes, I did. Do you not like the one I designed for you? Oh no, I love it. And I love the case so much, I wanted some more designs. Oh, which one did you get? Well, I got three more. <laughs> you got three? Miss Thomason. I know, but look. There are so many cases to choose from and so many different kinds, so I couldn't just get one. And they're made from recyclable materials, so. So you're basically saving the planet. Exactly. Can I show you something else about the case that my mom told me? Yeah, sure. What is it? Jake, Joseph. Okay, now what were you gonna show me, Sarah? Sarah, it's up to six foot drop proof, so I can drop it from here and the phone won't break. Yes, yes it is, but that's more than six feet and you need to get down before you get hurt. Sold to Joseph. You get to chew gum in class all week. Good job, Joseph. Next item is the TikTok takeover. What? You get to record a video and post it on my TikTok. The best price ever, $15. $18. $18. Jake, you want that? Yeah. $20. $25. $30. Any other bidders? I have my own TikTok account. I have 47 followers. I don't really know what TikTok is. Going once? $40. Fifty. What are you gonna do? Sit there and talk about Harry Potter and fidget toys? Fifty-five dollars. What are you gonna do? Sit there and talk about video games? Sixty dollars. All I have to do is sit there and show my face, and it'll get like a million likes. Jake. Oh yeah, eighty dollars. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven dollars. Going once. Going twice. Sold to Sarah. Yes. I didn't even want that. I was just trying to get you to spend all your money. I would have paid any amount of money to keep you off Miss Thomason's TikTok. Miss Thomason, look. Oh, what are you doing? Hi, Sarah. Um, I'm ordering a new phone case from Casetify. Oh, my mom got one of those. She even got to design it and put her own photos on it. How do you do that? It's really easy. I can show you. All you have to do is go to the Casetify app, and then you can choose whichever layout you want. And then you can just pick out whichever photos you want from your photos. And then you just drag them over wherever you want to put them. Oh, that's really easy. Yeah. My mom put a bunch of kissy photos of her and my dad on her phone case. <laughs> Jake, Joseph, I got to go deal with that. Um, do you want to finish this up for me? Just choose some really cute photos. Really? I'm going to design it really good, Miss Thomason. Don't you worry. Hi, Miss Thomason. Oh, Sarah, I got my new phone case. Really? Open it. It's such a pretty box. You're going to love how I designed it. Do you like it? Can I see it? Sarah, I love it. Today's school lunch. And today I'm really excited because we have mini corn dogs. Mystery package of leftovers. Dinosaur nuggets with hidden vegetables. Tea and vitamin C. Brought to you by Poor Planning and Casey's General Store. I've got chicken strips, fountain coke, and funyun crumbs. Carrots with ranch, obviously. A gust of wind. <gasps> in an energy drink. A cheese roll up with avocado, then some hard boiled eggs, some veggies I already ate, more cheese. Little fish, body armor, three, four packs of saltine, and an apple sauce. A little bit of a salad. Forgot to pack a lunch, so. White cheddar cheese, so it's been in my room. Swedish fish minis from a student, and water. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. PB and J every day. Got my lunch, and my coworker had extra chicken alfredo, so I'm eating chicken alfredo. My favorite flavor. We have kava, like Mediterranean chipotle, honey, spicy chicken, corn, cucumbers, tzatziki, and of course chai tea. Mm. My brother ate 14 breadsticks last night. Hey, I'll trade you for your funyuns. 
No way. You have to give me your Oreos and your Gatorade. Can I go to my mom's room to get my lunch now? Can I have some of your fries? Hey, are you gonna eat that banana? Are you throwing that away? I'll eat it. Um, Miss Thomason, this is my lunch from yesterday. Miss Thomason, is it okay if I um, brought a desk pet to school if I promise to keep it in my backpack? I don't see why not, as long as it doesn't become a problem. Sarah, I need you to stay focused on your work, please. Huh? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, please line up for recess. Ooh, Miss Thomason, can I take my- No, Sarah, you can't take your desk pet to recess. Okay. Oh, Miss Thomason, can I put some water in here for my desk pet? I think she's thirsty. I bet she is. Of course you can. Bye, kids. See you tomorrow. Miss Thomason, before I go, you want to see my desk pet? I'd love to. Bye. See you tomorrow. A cat? Young lady, what are you doing down there? Oh, sometimes Miss Thomason lets me organize the bookshelves. I am sure there are many more productive things you can be doing. Please go back to your seat. Okay. Young lady, why do you have hand sanitizer all over your desk? I was just cleaning my hands and the lid came off. Clean that up quickly, please. You're getting very behind on your work. Okay, sorry. Bye, Ms. Williams. I will see you tomorrow. I expect you to practice those multiplication facts. I will. Wait, tomorrow? You mean Miss Thomason's not going to be back? Jury duty usually lasts the whole week, so I will probably be here. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Miss Thomason, you're back! Hey, Sarah, yes, I told the judge I just could not be away from my students any longer. I missed you so much. Miss Williams wouldn't let me use my fidget toy or rearrange the bookshelves. She kept calling me young lady. I'm sorry you had such a tough day. I'm so happy to be back. Yeah, can you tell them you don't ever want to do jury duty again? Hey, Sarah, the last gift is yours. Wow. Wait, if this is the last gift, then that means... Jake? You were my secret friend? Yep. Oh, my mom always says it's better to give than to receive, so that is a great attitude to have. It's the thought that counts. What is it? A giant unicorn poppet. Oh. I don't even know what to say. Well, that's a first. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Got it from Mrs. Bench. I didn't even know Mrs. Bench had these. Jake, I gotta admit, this is an awesome gift. I know. Miss Thomason, it may be better to give than to receive, but sometimes receiving can be really good. <laughs> I just press record. Okay, okay, I did it. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I am taking over Miss Thomason's TikTok today. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and about my class, but I only have 60 seconds. This is my favorite part of the class where all the books are, especially the Harry Potter books. My teacher, Miss Thomason, is really nice, but sometimes she can be strict too, like if we're talking too much. You don't want to see that side of her. Don't tell her I told you that. She let me come into her office, and I've never been in here before, but look. She likes cats as much as I do. Look at all the cat stuff she had. I found her secret stash. This is where Jake sits. We don't need to talk about him, but I'm taping his pencil box shut. Now I'm going to tell you about our class jobs. The best job at... What? Out of time? Oh. Bye. See you next time. If there is a next time. Miss Thomason, I'm trying to decide what I should do when I take over your TikTok account. Oh, you always have great ideas. I'm sure you'll think of something. You've got a little bit of time. Oh, I could tell them what I'm having for lunch. I've seen a lot of teachers do that. Yes, I love to watch those. Ugh, of all days to have a tuna sandwich and a banana. Boring. I will not be doing that. Maybe I could tell jokes like, what flower is between your nose and your chin? Tulips. Get it? That's a good one. I could dance. I've been practicing the jerk. Watch. That's impressive. I could read Harry Potter to them. Do you think your followers would like that? I think they're going to love whatever you decide to do. How much time will I have? You'll have 60 seconds. One minute. 60 seconds? I've got a lot to pack in in a little amount of time. 
Miss Thomason, can I name our new class pet? Class pet? Yeah, you know, that one. Oh, you mean the Robo Rock vacuum. <laughs> I think we should call him Buddy. Come here, Buddy. I have some good food for you. Since I'm the errand runner, don't you think I should empty out the vacuum? I mean, Buddy. Oh, no, you don't need to. It empties itself into the bin automatically. I'm done with my mask, so can I go wait for it to empty itself? Sure. Emptying dustbin. I guess I had a little mud on my shoe. Oh, well, luckily, Buddy works as a mop, too, and uses sonic technology to scrub the floors up to 3,000 times per minute. Watch. Good job, Buddy. I'm going to tell my dad to get one of these for my mom. Oh, well, tell your dad to use the link in my bio to check it out. Oh, okay. Then when my mom gets really cranky and says, Sarah, go clean something, it'll be super easy. As of today, we only have 12 days of school until the beginning of winter break. So I bought each of my students a different advent calendar to help us count down the days in a fun and exciting way. Every day, each student will open one day from their calendar and then the next day will rotate the calendar so that they can open from a different one and that way everybody gets a variety of items. Some of the calendars have 24 days, so for those calendars, the students will get to open two slots. We're just counting down to winter break and not all my students celebrate Christmas, so I tried to choose ones that weren't real Christmassy and instead just focused on their interests. And this is the one I'll be opening every day. Hi, so I'm planning something for when we come back from Thanksgiving break. Let me explain. When we come back from Thanksgiving break, we only have 12 days until winter break. Well, 13, but the last one doesn't really count. Just my favorite time of the year because the kids are excited, I'm excited, we're all looking forward to winter break. But why not add to the excitement and do a little countdown to winter break? So I bought all these advent calendars. I bought 16. You probably think I'm crazy. It's okay. I think I'm crazy too. <laughs> I thought it would be fun for each kid to have a different calendar and every day they open one and then the next day we'll rotate the calendars so they open something different. There are all kinds of advent calendars out there. I didn't even know. This one has fidget toys. This one has like rocks and fossils. This one has hot chocolate. Here's a Harry Potter one. I tried to stay away from the real Christmassy ones because not all my students celebrate Christmas and so it's really just a countdown to winter break. What are your thoughts? Do you think I'm nuts? <laughs> I forgot my lunch at home, so my mom dropped this off for me. She said if I forget it again, then I'm just gonna go hungry that day. What's wrong with spaghetti and mashed potatoes? My dad always says that I only eat foods that are beige, but this is yellow. My grandma D always gets my favorite foods when I'm staying with her. Does anyone want some prunes? We ate these at every single meal at my Grammy K's house. Oh, Werther's. My grandpa and I love these. Anyone want to trade? What do you have? Meatloaf? Want to trade? Oh, cookies! DoorDash, lunch? 42? 50? 50? Cute little guy. 40! 53! $53 going twice? So, chew gum in class. $40 going twice. 42. 43, 43. 44. 44. Ooh, for $44. And you just brought it for him and gave it to him? That was really sweet. Yeah. Who can use the tent anytime you're doing free reading? 24. 24. 26. 35. Fortnite. 18. Gift card. 19. $19. 19 no, 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 no. Going twice? Sold for $19. Pop it. But. It's a notebook. 23. $23 going twice and sold. Pop you some popcorn and give you a drink to go with it and to eat during class. Eleven. What a steal for $11. Like a Roblox card? Oh. $18. $18 Eight. going, $20 going twice. Nobody can bid against him. <laughs> $1 going once. Would you like to bid against yourself? One dollar. <laughs> Sell for one dollar. Hi, Miss Thomason. I cannot wait for the party today. Hi, Sarah. I'm excited too. Time to put your costumes on. And while you're waiting your turn, be sure to make your guess for how many candies are in the jar. Jake, what happened to all the blood and the gore and the clothes and stuff you said you were going to do? It was too much work. Well, at least everybody knows what you are.
because it says well, emma you look exactly like a scientist thanks sarah hominum revelio uh oh something went wrong with my spell i just couldn't decide between hermione and a cat so i'm a hermione cat winner of the jar is emma there were 105 candies in the jar and she guessed exactly 105 emma how did you guess the exact right number there are five candies along the length five candies along the width and then six candies deep and i multiplied those together and subtracted 30 percent because of the gaps and all i did was write down a number Miss Thomason, guess what? Well, I don't know, Sarah, you'll have to tell me. It's almost Halloween and I still haven't decided on my costume. Oh, my mom said if I don't decide today, then I'm not getting a costume. We have all day to think about it. Always know what I want to be for Halloween, but this year I just can't decide. Just be a clown and then you won't even have to wear a costume. Ha ha, real funny, Jake. What about you? What are you going to be? I'm going to be a zombie and it's going to be bloody and gory and scary. Well, if you wanted to be scary, all you have to do is come as yourself. Emma, do you know what you're going to be? I'm going to be a scientist because that's what I want to be when I grow up. Oh, that'll be good. That's a really big decision because next year I'll be 10 and then I'll probably be too mature to wear a costume. Eight times seven. What's eight times seven? And I've narrowed my costume down to two choices. Now I have between here and the car to decide which one. Wish me luck. Good luck. Somehow I've grown this pretty good following on TikTok and I'm so overwhelmed by the genuine kindness and support of people. But of course, the bigger your account gets, the more you just open yourself up for all kinds of comments and sometimes criticism. There's always those people who know exactly where to hit you where you're most sensitive. For me, it's my teeth. And yes, people have made comments about my teeth, which is a shame because I really like smiling and I really like laughing, but sometimes I feel a little self-conscious. I've decided instead of worrying about it, I'm just gonna do something about it. And luckily, Bite makes it so super easy because you can do everything from home, which is really good for an introvert like me who doesn't like to go places, and also for a teacher because it's really hard to leave during the day to get to appointments. So I'm just super excited to get my aligners and to get started, and I cannot wait to just be able to smile and just not even worry about what my teeth look like. Hi, Miss Thomason. Sarah, I'm so glad you're back. I'm glad you're finally feeling better. <sighs> good old desk. How I missed you. Oh, hey, look who's back. I even missed you, Jake. Hi, Emma. You're back. You were sick for so long. All I did the whole time was lay in bed and eat soup. I don't want to eat soup again for like 20 years. Sounds terrible. The good part of every day was when my mom's Amazon boxes were delivered, and then we got to hide them from my dad. <laughs> so sad you had to miss the book fair. I'm just glad to be back. I'm even excited to do math. Did get you something. Harry Potter stickers? Emma! I got something for you, too. You did? It's just my old book. I didn't buy it. Percy Jackson? You said you wanted to read it to see if it was better than Harry Potter, which it is. Uh, we'll see about that. But that was pretty cool of you to do. Miss Thomason, you know what? When you're sick, you really do find out who your true friends are. Wait. Does that make Jake a friend? Emma, it's freezing in here. Aren't you cold? No? Are you sure you're not sick? No, I'm fine. I'm just really cold. Sarah, it looks like you haven't even touched your lunch. I'm not very hungry. I think I'm just too excited about the book fair. Oh, I see. Well, I just want to make sure you're okay. Hey, Sarah. Miss Thomason, I think Sarah's sick. Sarah? Is it time to go to the book fair? Honey, I'm going to get the thermometer. You don't look very well. I'm afraid you might have a fever. Can I just have a fever after we go to the book fair? 101? Oh, I'm sorry, honey, but I got to call your mom and have her come pick you up. This was supposed to be the best day ever. Instead, it's turned into the worst day ever. Bye, Sarah. Get lots of rest so you can feel better soon, okay? Bye. Hope you all have fun at the book fair. Hi, Miss Thomason. Guess what? Hi, Sarah. My mom gave me $30 to spend at the book fair today. Oh, and look, I wore this shirt. I cannot wait. I know. You've been waiting so long. Emma, what are you going to get at the book fair? I'm going to get some new biography books. I'm thinking about getting a Percy Jackson book. Some people say it's better than Harry Potter, but I don't know how it could be. It is better than Harry Potter. Jake, have you actually even ever read a book? 
Anyone figure out what X would be equal to, Sarah? I don't know the answer. I was just wondering what time we're gonna go to the book fair. The end of the day. But let's see if you can figure this out on your whiteboard. Let's say you have $12 to spend at the book fair and every book costs $4. How many books could you buy? Three. Yes, X equals three. Good job, you could buy three books. Sarah, you don't look very good. Your face doesn't look very good. No, but like, actually, you don't look good. You don't look very good. Are you sick? I'm not sick. I feel fine. My mom took the envelope to the bakery and then the bakery made a cake. And if when we cut into the cake, it was pink, then we know it's a girl. And if when we cut into it, it's blue, then we know it was a boy. Oh, I've seen them do that on TikTok. It makes me cry. Oh, I hope it's a boy. We don't need another Sarah. Was it pink or blue? I got to cut it and it was blue blue yes oh you're gonna have a brother it's so exciting but later the bakery called and said they had mixed up our cake with somebody else's and ours is supposed to be pink so really it's a girl oh thank goodness i don't think you'd want a brother oh goody sarah jr i didn't realize how much i really wanted a sister until i thought i was having a brother so now i'm pretty excited about the baby oh sarah i am so excited for you she's gonna be so cute i'm trying to convince my mom and dad to name her hermione but they want to call her cecilia maybe you can call her cece that'd be cute no i'm still gonna call her hermione so jake watched lovey dovey christmas movies all during the break joseph what did you do no i did I watched one, okay? Anyway, I got a PS5 for Christmas. Joseph, you should come over after school and play. It's awesome. You got a PS5? How? Those have been sold out for months. Hey, I'm just cool like that. Also, my uncle knows a guy and he got it for me. I was hoping you'd get a personality for Christmas. Instead, you got a PS5. You probably played video games the entire break. Obviously, I was up to like one every night. I'm just gonna need to chill today. Emma, did you get to do all those science experiments you wanted to do? Not really. My parents expected me to entertain my little brothers and sisters pretty much the whole time. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. That's what happens when you're the oldest. You're gonna find out about that pretty soon. Speaking of that, my mom and dad had a gender reveal party to see what the baby is. Really? So what is it? Well... Yes! I'm the first one here! I brought you some donuts and a coffee. My mom said you would definitely want the large coffee. Miss Thomason, guess what? My neighbor's dog had puppies last night. Here's my tardy slip. We all overslept this morning. Hi, Miss Thomason. Sarah, what's wrong? Didn't you get your surprise? It's, it's awful. What's wrong, Sarah? Turns out Sarah's surprise is really Sarah's demise. Oh, so they are shipping you off to Australia. I knew it. Jake. I wish that's what it was. What is it? My mom and dad are having a baby. Oh, that's so exciting. Exciting? How could that be exciting? Babies are so cute. What's cute about a crying, smelly baby that spits up everywhere? Little kids are cool. I have two little sisters. I feel sorry for those kids. Are you kidding me? They idolize me. They do whatever I tell them. Hmm. And you can read to the baby. And I do love reading. I know you're not real excited about it right now, but that baby is the luckiest baby to get to have you as a big sister. I feel a lot better about it now. Oh, good. Now the question is, when I read to the baby, do I start with the first Harry Potter book or the best one, The Prisoner of Azkaban? Hi, Miss Thomason, guess what? Hi, Sarah. My mom and dad said they have a really big surprise for me after school today. Ooh, what do you think it is? I don't know, but from the way they were talking, it's gonna be really good. I just cannot wait till after school to find out what my surprise is. This is going to be the longest day ever. What do you guys think it could be? I bet they're shipping you off to Australia. Well, at least I'd be far, far away from you. Maybe you'll get eaten by a crocodile. Maybe some new books. Maybe, but it seemed like it was something really, really big. Maybe they're taking you to the Smithsonian. I don't know what that is, but that sounds fun. Maybe they're taking me to Universal Studios, to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. 
I bet that's it. That has to be it because the way they kept smiling at me this morning, I better start studying. Bread and butter is just so good. I eat it every day for breakfast too. My mom says I'm going through a phase. I can't get this open. I'm making a charcuterie board. Charcoal what? What is that? It's when you have a tray of different like meats and cheeses and stuff. Oh, well that's what I have too. I have meat and cheese and crackers. Oh, you have a Lunchable. That's way better than a charcuterie or whatever she said. Yeah, but it looks better like that. So I'm gonna do that too. My name is Sarah and I will be presenting to you my chocolate project. I decided to try all these chocolate bars. Rating between one and five Oompa Loompas. Hershey bar, and it's a classic, but it's kind of boring, and it's really only good on a s'more. So I gave it one Oompa Loompa. The only person I know that eats three Musketeers is my grandma, so it only gets one Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Plain ones get two Oompa Loompas, and peanut ones are twice as good. So they get four Oompa Loompas. The Milky Way, two Oompa Loompas, and then I gave the Snickers three because I like a crunch. These are both five Oompa Loompas good. And I also happen to know that these are Miss Thomason's two favorites. Right, Miss Thomason? That's right. I also brought chocolate bars for everybody else to try. And you get to give your own ratings too. We put a lot of effort into this project. I didn't bring you the full size ones because after eating all that, ugh. That's how chocolate became invented. And now we can have it whenever we want. Well done, Emma. Such good research. You gave us a lot of good background information for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Thanks, Miss Thomason. Good job, Emma. Okay, Jake, you're next. Jake. Oh, okay. I brought a Hershey bar. It was in my pocket, so it's kind of melted, but this is a book about Milton Hershey. And I thought that he invented chocolate until I heard Emma's report just now, so. I didn't read this book, but if you like Hershey bars, you will probably like this book, I think. Because it's about Hershey. So, that's all. Jake, thank you very much. I really like how you brought some props with you. Sarah, you're next. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I have lunch, DoorDash, McDonald's, or Taco Bell, or Subway, or McDonald's. 65 gold for 65 the mystery bag. Eight. Eleven. Sold for $28. going twice? Yes! Sold to the cold girl. Chewing gum coupon if you would like to bid on this. $25. For the snack break. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Sold to the hungry boy. <laughs> $62 going to sell for $62. Ready? Oh. <laughs> it's time for another class auction, and you know what that means. Time to prepare some mystery bags. First, we'll put a little sweet and a little sour in this bag. Some cute stickers and a coupon to choose two more stickers. This bag will have a few fidget toys, and this bag will have a coupon that lets them choose a fidget. And here's a cute little squish mill. I wasn't sure if he would fit, but he fits. I'm not really sure what this is, but in the bag it goes. One lucky kid will get to have popcorn and a drink during class, and I had to throw in this sticker. With this coupon, you can read in the tent all week, and this is what the tent looks like. And you're lucky if you get this coupon, because then you can choose from any of the coupons that we have. But not everybody likes to risk their dollars on a mystery bag, so they also can just bid on these coupons. And there will also be a few gift cards in the auction, and you may recognize this and this from a video I did last month. This is left over from Christmas time, and this was definitely a splurge, but it's so cute, and I think somebody's gonna pay a lot of dollars for it.
My mom made baked feta pasta. She saw it on TikTok. She gets all her recipes from TikTok now. What? I don't smell anything. Watch this. It sticks. I'm starving. What the? Oh, I have the wrong bag. This is raw meat. Does it look like a three? It's a, th it's a three. For the three million of you. So of course I'm gonna celebrate it with cake. I don't even really know what to say. I can't even begin to express my gratitude for each and every one of you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, sincerely. And I will continue making content for you for as long as I have ideas. And now I'm just gonna eat cake until the kids get here. I need cupcakes for the kids too. Except I can't tell them really why I have cupcakes because then I have to admit that I'm on TikTok and I'm not on TikTok. If you're my student and you see this, no, you didn't. I can do this. Save your money, Sarah, save your money. With this price, you get this whole bag of different kinds of black and white fidgets. Ooh, I really like that, but I don't need it. I don't need it. And sold to Matthew, here you go. That's probably what I would have got too, but I'm saving my money. Next is one of these globby balls. I love the way these squish. Ooh, luckily I already have one of those. With this one, you can massage and move your fingers. I've done really good. Saving money really isn't that hard. And the last item today is this butterfly poppet. $82, I bid $82. I had a feeling you might want this, but I'm sorry you didn't save your money. Why save money when you can buy this? Miss Thomason, guess what? Hi, Sarah, what's up? When we have our class auction today, I'm not gonna buy anything because I'm gonna save my money. I have $82 and I'm gonna save until I get $100. That is a very good goal. My dad always says you should save for a rainy day. I guess that's so you can buy an umbrella. It's time for our class auction, so go ahead and get out your money and count how many dollars you have to spend. I already know I got $82, but I'm not getting it out because I'm not gonna spend. You can do your free reading with a flashlight in the tent for the week. Ooh. Sold to Emma. Yay, Emma, you'll really like that. Next up, I've got a mystery bag. And sold to Jake. What's in it, Jake? A homework pass. You're lucky. Next up is a trip to the prize box and you can get whatever you want. No. Matthew, come pick out your prize. That's a really good prize. Now I've got a big box of fidgets that Mrs. Bench sent me. Be strong, Sarah, be strong. I have this shimmer bear. I don't know if I can be strong. Miss Thomason. Oh, where's Miss Thomason? Miss Thomason has jury duty. Oh. Miss Thomason's never been gone. My name is Ms. Williams and I will be your substitute. Oh, my name's Sarah and I can tell you anything you want to know about this class. Young lady, I will not be needing your assistance. Everything I need to know is in the binder. Oh, okay. Sarah, what is four times six? Four times six? Um, let's see if I got four fidgets a day for six days. Young lady, I just need you to give me an answer. Oh, that's how Miss Thomason helps me understand math. You are just simply going to have to memorize these. Miss Williams, I just got to a really good part in this book. Harry and young lady, I have not read that book and I do not care to. Oh, well, I think you're really missing out. Young lady, you may not have toys in class, but Miss Thomason always lets me use fidgets when I do math. Well, Miss Thomason is not here and I would like you to put that away. Okay. at the first time. Ugh. This is from 2019. And it looks like it has chocolate chips in it, but I don't think it's supposed to have chocolate chips. Flash of gold! Yeah. You're gonna come up and choose one of the bags, whichever bag you want. What do you think is in these bags? Chocolate? Mm -hmm. Candy and chocolate? And sweets. 
Oh no, I wouldn't give you candy and chocolate. Chocolate in them, but one of them also has a golden ticket. How many golden tickets were there? Five. I think maybe five of them have golden tickets. Oh, Raise your hand if you feel hopeful and if you feel nervous. Raise your hand if you feel like Miss Thomason should just quit asking questions and just let us open the bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ticket, but oh, you. Oh, we did! <laughs> oh my goodness, there's only one more left. This is very exciting. Did she get it? The last one! Very proud of how well you acted, how very supportive you all were of each other. That was awesome. Miss Thompson, you are so lucky that you get to do all those fast food reviews for your TikTok. Yeah, it's pretty fun to do. Wait, you've seen my TikTok? Oh, remember I told you I always sneak my mom's phone while she's taking a shower so that I can watch TikTok? Oh, but you told me that Mrs. Bench was your favorite TikTok teacher, so... I yeah, Mrs. Bench is the best. But your TikTok's good too, Miss Thomason. Mostly I like when you do the fast food because the food always looks so good. It's really good, but sometimes I get really full. Miss Thomason, I have the best idea. You should let me do one of your fast food videos for you. Hmm... It's not a bad idea, and it would save me some calories. I'll call your mom and see if it's okay with her. Yes, she won't mind. She'll let me do it. Your mom said it was okay, and she's even going to pick it up and bring it to you. So look at all the orders and decide which one you want. Yes! Let's see. Um, oh, I want this one. That one? Okay. I'll let your mom know. This year's gonna be so easy. I've already read all the Percy Jackson books. I know how to add fractions and I can name all the presidents in order. We just moved here from Seattle, so I'm new here. My old school's a lot nicer than this one. We never had to sit at tables at my old school. My old school had the best cafeteria food, probably way better than here. Hi guys, hi Katie, hi Emma. Hi, Jake. Jamie, are you sitting by me? I didn't have time to do the summer reading assignment. My mom hasn't gotten the school supplies yet. Oh, and I forgot my backpack and my lunch. Miss Thomason, I got some new poppets. Is it okay if I use them during class? As long as it's not a distraction. You don't gotta worry about me. I can be super quiet. How many of those poppets do you have? I have 14. I got them from Mrs. Bench on TikTok. You know, the queen of fidgets? Probably because I said she was my favorite TikTok teacher. Ah, uh, yes. How you doing with your math? Bah. I just don't know multiplication. You just don't know it yet. I don't think I'll ever know it. Mm. Let's imagine Mrs. Bench sent you some more poppets. Let's say she sent you two for every year old you are. How many would that be? Nine, so that would be 18. What if she sent you four a week for seven weeks? Oh, wow. That would be 28. Sarah, you just did multiplication. Really? So if I played with three poppets a day for one week, that would be 21 poppets. Yes. You should have just told me that in the first place. I guess I am good at multiplication. Hi, Emma. Hi, Sarah. How was your Christmas? It was good. I got this sweatshirt and this journal. Wait, you are a Gryffindor? Yep, but I'm a Gryffindor. How could we be in the same house? I don't know how that's possible. I took a quiz online and we all know the internet doesn't lie. Good morning, class. Welcome back. I'm so happy to see all of you. I know you've missed your friends, so I'll give you a little more time to catch up before we start class. Katie, how was your break? Really good. My mom and I baked cookies, and we went and got our nails done, and we watched Hallmark Christmas movies the whole break. My mom watched like 500 of those. They're so boring. It's all the same thing over and over. What? I love them. My favorite one was called Christmas Joy. Was that the one where she had to find the magical Christmas ornament before Christmas? Eve. Yeah, that's the that's the one. You watched What? I was at my grandma's house and she watches them. Oh, your grandma watches them. Miss Thomason, guess what? I forgot my lunch today. Oh, it's okay, Sarah. I'm sure I can scrounge up something for you. Okay. What are you eating? Well, I got a chicken sandwich from KFC. Oh, I love chicken sandwiches. Me too. Here, why don't you go ahead and have this? Really? Thanks, Miss Thomason. It has pickles on it. I love pickles. Oh, yum. Mmm. It's so juicy. 
looks so good. Chicken is extra crispy and the bun is toasted and it gives it a good crunch. And you know I love a good crunch. I do too. And listen. That is crunchy. Ooh, is that mayo? This is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had in my whole entire life. I can see that. Good thing I forgot my lunch today. Ah, it's a good thing. You should get one for yourself. I did. You know what? Miss Johnson's taking you to recess. Sarah, you're in charge, and I'm going back to KFC. I'm in charge? Okay. A whistle. <gasps> my students have been earning class dollars, and now it's time for our first class auction. Let's prepare some mystery bags because these are always very popular. We'll put a homework pass in this one. They always love those. And let's add a handful of candy in there too. It just would not be a class auction without some of Mrs. Bench's fidget toys. So we'll add a couple of fun ones into this bag. Look how cute this little guy is. And let's choose a poppet for another bag. I like this french fry one. I think whoever gets this is gonna go crazy over it. One lucky person is going to get some popcorn and a drink of their choice to enjoy during class time. I'd really like to keep these cat stickers, but into the bag they go. Would you like to chew gum during class? One lucky person will get this coupon and enough gum to last all week. We'll put a Fortnite character in this bag, and this little squishy is going home with the highest bidder of this bag. Finally, whoever gets this bag is going to get a whole bunch of class dollars that they'll be able to use at the next auction. Miss Thomason, guess what? Hi, Sarah, what is it? I want to do really good in school this year, so I have a really good plan. Well, I love a good plan. Hi, Emma. Who could give me an example of this? Three times five is the same as five times three. Yes, good. Sarah? Five times three is the same as three times five. Yes. Jake, watch this. Never mind. Miss Thomason, it's really hard being Emma. What? That was my plan to just to do everything like Emma does because she's a really good student. Well, honey, yes, she is a good student, but so are you. And I wouldn't want you to be anybody but Sarah, just how you are. Really? Really. That's really good because I really miss my ponytail. Miss Thomason, it must be so fun being a teacher. What makes you say that? Because you get to do so many fun things like erase the whiteboard and sharpen pencils and cut paper. You know, you're right. It is pretty fun. Hey Sarah, um, so you said you've seen my TikTok page, right? Yeah, I keep telling you I sneak my mom's phone while she's in the shower so I can watch them. Right, right, of course. Um, so have you seen all the TikToks that I've done? Yeah, I've seen all of them. I like that character you do whose name is Sarah. Oh yeah, she's quite a character. And it's so funny that she has the same name as me. Oh yeah, you know, I just really like the name Sarah. How do you even come up with all the ideas of the stuff she does? Oh, you know, I just um, use my imagination. You know, I bet you I could give you some really good ideas for Sarah. I'm gonna start writing them down. Oh, I bet you could give me some really good ideas. I'm really gonna have to use my imagination because she's really nothing like me. Oh no, she's nothing like you. But I've already got tons of ideas. Well, I'll certainly look forward to your inspiration. I mean, your ideas.
Will we have homework this year? Are we gonna have a lot of tests? Do we have to learn long division? Can I go to the bathroom? I brought you a Diet Coke and a Twix. We heard they were your favorite. And I even put the straw in for you already. So, my sister told me everything about this class and she said you were on TikTok. Do we get to make TikToks with you? I could not sleep last night. I was so excited. I picked up my outfit four weeks ago, but then I changed it three times this morning and then I put this one back on. Do you like it? This is my new lunchbox. What are we doing first today? Where do I sit? Hi, Sarah. I want to make these water bottles and pencil bags extra special for my new students and the Cricut Explore 3 is perfect for this job. There are tons of fonts in the design space and what I really love is that I can design it all and print straight from my iPad. The machine does all the cutting and all I have to do is peel off the backing, weed out all the excess parts, apply the transfer tape, and then place it on the bottle and peel and it's done. For the pencil bags, I decided to add a little cat logo because my last name is Thomason and we are the Tomcats. This design will be printed on an iron-on vinyl material. My cat and I just watch while the Cricut does all the cutting. Next, I peel off the backing, weed out all the excess parts, and place the vinyl on the fabric. Then I use the heat press for the recommended time and temperature, and just peel off the vinyl. I hope these gifts help my students feel excited for third grade. Hi! Hi! This is my first time to have jury duty. Oh, I guess I won't be needing this for a while. I think we should start by telling each other our names and an adjective that begins with the same letter. So my name is Positive Pam. Both lawyers gave some really good arguments. We could be here for a while. I better text my principal and tell her I'll be- Take a vote and see how many think he's guilty and innocent. Put your heads down and close your eyes. Raise your hand if you think he's unanimous. Everyone thinks he's guilty. We can't be done this quick. My kids haven't even gone to recess yet. There is that unidentified bloody footprint that we need to consider. Definitely gonna need to call in some lunch. This is what a lunch break is like. Soup is supposed to be hot. Okay, I didn't wanna tell you this before, but I have to get back to school because I don't like the sub. I know he's not guilty because when he was nine, he was in my class for about three weeks and he had the nicest handwriting and people who write that nicely are just not killers. Oh, hi. Good, hi. Good morning. I'm just trying to tissue. try something with my students and you can help me with this. So this idea is inspired by Brew on the radio who's on TikTok and what he does is he asks for a random word of the day that he will somehow incorporate into something that he's talking about on the radio. So I want to do a version of that with my class. So if you can leave me a random word I will sneak the word into one of my lessons and see if the kids can figure out what the random word of the day was. Um, I'll film the lesson so that you can see it, and um, I think it'll be really fun, and I think it will help them engage in the lesson a little more and listen to every word that I say, not that they don't already. And um, so thank you in advance for your help. My students have been earning class dollars, and now it's time for our first class auction. Let's prepare some mystery bags because these are always very popular. We'll put a homework pass in this one. They always love those. And let's add a handful of candy in there too. It just would not be a class auction without some of Mrs. Bench's fidget toys. So we'll add a couple of fun ones into this bag. Look how cute this little guy is. And let's choose a poppet for another bag. I like this french fry one. I think whoever gets this is gonna go crazy over it. One lucky person is going to get some popcorn and a drink of their choice to enjoy during class time. I'd really like to keep these cat stickers, but into the bag they go. Would you like to chew gum during class? One lucky person will get this coupon and enough gum to last all week. We'll put a Fortnite character in this bag, and this little squishy is going home with the highest bidder of this bag. Finally, whoever gets this bag is going to get a whole bunch of class dollars that they'll be able to use at the next auction. Yeah, it's from our restaurant. My daddy makes the best meatballs. My mom and I go to Starbucks every day, but today she let me get a cake pop. I didn't want to eat my pancakes this morning, so my dad made me bring them for lunch. 
they're not as good. Yeah, I did have lunch, but I already ate it on the way to school. I was hungry. She said we could go to recess when we're done eating. I'm done down to the last golden ticket so either emma jake or sarah has it it's gonna be me emma you can open your bag i didn't get it emma you really deserved it and sarah open yours okay i feel pretty lucky miss thomason i didn't get it must be you jake go ahead and open it congratulations where is it it's not in there i know i put five tickets in you can eat three pieces of candy i'm gonna try to figure out where that at least we got all this candy sarah look at your candy oh i did get it i got it found it yay sarah I'm so happy for you dude really miss thompson you know what just when you think all hope is lost something great comes along so true you know what I packed for myself? Oh, what's that? Oh. Frozen meal and banana chips, uh, cause I can't make stuff for myself. Dover taco. A literal bag of pulled pork. Been chewing on this piece of gum all day. Those are my only calories. Packed myself Captain Crunch and almond milk. Tupperware container full of raspberries that I threw in my lunch at the last minute. Crackers, ginger ale, applesauce. Every single day of the week. I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. A nice cup of joe. Potato chips, mac and cheese, because I don't know how to make a lot. And two plates, because we share. So I um ordered pizza with ranch. Berries and cream, berries and cream, applesauce, almonds, parmesan crisps, fruit snack raisins. 4.23 p.m. and I am just now eating my baby applesauce. Potato carrot bite. I found coke. Here she is. Oh, now? Okay. You don't know if you like it unless you try it. I don't know if I like a Big Mac because I've never had one before and it has pickles on it. I don't think I like pickles, but I don't know unless I try it. Everybody knows McDonald's has the best fries though. I can see why they call it a Big Mac. I've never had a burger this big in my entire life. Time for the taste test. What is even on this? I guess it's pretty good. I don't know why it tastes sweet though. This isn't the best burger I've ever had, but it's okay. Mostly I picked this order so I could have a shake. My mom doesn't usually let me get shakes. I gotta try this. No, oh, that's good. I would give this meal a seven out of 10 french fries. Tune in next time for my next fast food review. What will it be? Miss Thompson, you want the rest of this? Miss Thompson, when is the food gonna get here? I cannot wait. Oh, it should be any minute now. I should probably practice what I'm gonna say. Like, hi, I'm Sarah. No. Oh, I know, I need a catchphrase. A catchphrase? Yeah, you know, like you always say, let's get it. I could say, um, you don't know if you like it unless you try it. Oh yeah, I like that. You don't know if you like it unless you try it. You don't know if you like it unless you try it. You don't know if you like it until you try it. Miss Thomason, does my ponytail look okay? Do you think Mrs. Bench is gonna see this? Oh, uh, well, she might. Oh, it's here. It's here? Okay, I'm ready. I promise I'm gonna do a really good job. I know you're gonna do a great job. This is it. This is the beginning of my career. Miss Thomason, guess what? I brought you a present. My mom wanted me to wait until next week to give it to you, but I couldn't wait any longer. Oh my goodness, thank you, Sarah. Open it now. Okay, let's see. You're gonna love it. Let me help you unwrap it. Wow, as soon as I saw, I knew I had to get it for you. You know these are my favorite. Now I'm gonna tell you the other part of the present. So this is one yard of Twix bars, right? Mm-hmm. In math class, I learned that one yard is equal to three feet. Yes, that's right. And there are 18 packs and each pack has two bars. So 18 times two means there are 36 bars in the whole thing. Sarah, that is some good multiplication. Oh, and one more thing. If there are 36 bars and there are 18 of us, if we divided 36 by 18, everybody would get two bars. 
You are right. But what if we divided all 36 between you and me? Divided by two, then we'd each get 18? I never thought I'd say this, but I think I'm really starting to like math. That is the best gift of all. Okay, we still have several advent calendars to choose from. Emma, do you know which one you want? Emma, you're next. Get the Harry Potter one. Nobody will want that. I want this one. Too bad there isn't one with soap in it for you, Jake. Jake. Yes. Maybe I should get the Harry Potter or the fidget toys. Bro, when there's food, I'm getting food. I'm getting the Pringles. <laughs> Sarah, I really want this one, but I really want this one too. Well, that's a tough choice. Really good fidgets in it. But I mean, this is Harry Potter. Meeny, meeny, miny. No. You know, we are going to be rotating them every day. I know, but I feel like the first one is the most important one. I'm going to have all the days eaten by the time you decide. I've decided, I'm gonna get this one. Okay, what was it that made you decide on that one? I'm sure these are good, but I gotta stay loyal to Mrs. Bench because she has the best fidget toys. Good thinking. I've got a brand new auction item. It's a makeup kit. Oh, I really want that. I bid $2. $2 bid from Sarah. Anyone else? Anyone besides Sarah want a bid? Emma, how about you? You could get this for $3. No, my mom doesn't let me wear makeup. Jake, you could use a little color on your face. Me? No. Jake does not want it. Besides, I only have a dollar. Anyone? Going once, going twice, sold to Sarah. Yes, thank you. Can I use it now? No, not until after school. Bye. Where's Sarah? Ta-da! You said I could use this after school and I just really want to surprise my mom. Bye! She'll be surprised, all right. I better call. I'm first one in! <laughs> Bro, I cannot believe you made that shot. Okay, Emma, let's see what you got from your secret friend. Oh, an earth science kit. Oh, any guesses to who your secret friend is? Um, is it Sarah? Not Sarah, it's me. Thank you, Katie. I wanted to get you nail polish, but then I remembered how much you like science. I love this. Katie, this one's for you. Oh, it's fidget toys. Nice, who do you think it is? I think it's me. I'm your secret friend. I knew it was you. I know you like horses, so I hope you like unicorns too. There's all kinds of unicorn fidgets in there. I do. They're from Mrs. Bench's store. She has the best fidgets. I've heard. The poppet one is my favorite. Thank you. This one is for Jake. Ah, sweet. V-Bucks. Bruh. Joseph, is it from you? It's me. I don't really know what that's for, but I hope you like it. I do. That was really cool of you, Emma. Hey, Sarah, the last gift is yours. Sarah, it's your turn to draw a name. I can't wait to see who I get. Emma? Maybe I'll get you, Sarah. Oh. Katie? Jake? Cool. Hey, Katie, what's your favorite color? Favorite color? Pink and purple. Why? Just wondering. I'm I'm just asking everybody. Katie, don't you just love Harry Potter? I don't know. I've never read it. Hey, Katie, do you like dogs or cats better? Um, I like horses. Okay, class, have a great weekend. Don't forget to bring your gifts next week. And remember, it's a secret, friends. So you got to keep it a secret. Don't worry, Miss Thompson. I'm really good at keeping secrets. We are just about finished reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, so now it's time to prepare for the chocolate party. Oh, hey there. I'm just testing the product, you know, like any good party planner would do. Anyway, so I cut these labels that I ordered from Etsy, and now it's not a Hershey bar, it's a Wonka bar. These little labels are also from Etsy, and they are stickers, so they're really easy to wrap around these little Hershey bars to make little Wonka bars. Cute, right? 
Then I put these marshmallows in bags with the label to make marshmallow pillows. And these aren't zebra cakes, they're Wonka cakes. No, these aren't Pop Rocks, these are exploding candy. And no, we're not drinking Sprite at this party. We're drinking Wonka's fizzy lifting drink, of course. And now I just need to stuff these goodie bags full of treats and snacks and candy. And I think I'm ready for the party. So stay tuned for scenes from the party. My class has been reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and we're almost finished. So it's time to start planning for the chocolate party. In the book, Willy Wonka wears a purple tailcoat and green trousers, so our decorations are going to match that description. These plates are so cute, but they're just a little too pricey for me, but I am definitely going to get these straws. While I'm here, I'm going to grab some of these and some of these. Now I'm off to Target to get the rest of the goodies. I need these Hershey bars and also the little ones for something special that you'll see in the next video. We're going up to the top to get the party size bag of M&Ms because, of course, and it wouldn't be a Wonka party without the Wonka candy. And now I've got to get some Rolos and some Skittles and some Sprite, but it's not exactly going to be Sprite when I'm done with it. These just look like a Wonka creation and they are so good. And then finally we need some movie snacks. Now I'm off to school to drop everything off and start preparing for the party. Stay tuned. Sarah, I've got an errand for you to run. Really? Yay, what is it? I sent some copies to the copy machine by the library. Can you go pick those up? Okay. Ooh, the sixth graders do neat projects. Here's her copies. The library's right there. Ooh, I've never read this. This book is so good. Oh, there you are. You were gone for a really long time. Really? I just went straight there and back. Mm-hmm. Well, did you find my copies? The copies? Oh, I must have dropped them. I'll go back and get them. Oh, no. <sighs> okay, we just have three more jobs to draw names for, and the librarian will be Emma. Oh, okay. Emma, you're so lucky. That's the best job. And the errand runner will be Sarah. Errand runner? Do you have any errands for me right now? Not right now, but I'll let you know if I do. Okay. And that means, Jake, you're the substitute. So if anybody's absent, then you'll do their job that day. Cool. Wait, but if nobody's absent, do I still get paid? Yes, you still get paid. Awesome. Nobody be absent so I can get paid for doing nothing. So you got any errands for me yet? I could refill your water for you. Oh, no thank you, honey. I think I've had plenty of water today. You want me to go get you some Diet Coke? No thank you. I just finished my work, so if you have any errands for me to run, this would be a good time. Not yet. Miss Thomason, I'm just gonna be in the bathroom just for a minute in case you're looking for me, okay? Miss Thomason. Just let me know, I'm available all day.